HD Zero, I have long said that the main thing that was holding HD Zero back was the lack of a high powered VTX. That with a 200 milliwatt VTX, it was okay for racing, and but just didn't hold up with the kind of range of penetration I would like to see for general use, freestyle, etc. And uh, now they've done it. Is that is that the gist of it? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, honestly, uh, yeah, it looks really good. I don't, I don't want to spoil the, 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 the pot here, but it looks really good, man. Uh, we, you know, we, I, we've got a couple links here to different people. Um, I know Ryan Coolit is in the chat. We've got a couple of his videos mm -hmm. linked as well. Right. But, well, um, it's a beta tester or whatever works with them on their stuff. Yeah. Um, I want to show somebody from outside of the project a little bit as the front runner. Yeah. Nick Burns has a lot yeah. of great reviews and, um, I feel like we can definitely trust him for all the stuff he does. And if you look at, I mean, yeah, he goes through and just the setup and the size we've talked about before, it's 40 by 40. So that's one of the caveats. Here. Yeah, it is. Um, it's a little big to fit in there. You can see it's a little, little large. Yeah, he's got it. And this looks like a three inch or a three and a half. I, I think it's a three inch. And he's got it on some kind of a like a basically it's got 30 millimeter mounting, but it hangs out over the edge a lot. Yes. Yeah. Um, He's managed to squeeze it in. Some frames just will not be able to make it fit, I think is the takeaway. And for anybody hoping to fit it in a, in a 20 millimeter mount in the back of a, a quad, it's just, that's just probably not going to happen on most frames. But that doesn't look too bad. Um, I think it's going to yeah. be more of a struggle if you've got like a 5 inch with a flight controller and ESC where you don't have room for a third board on top. Yeah, it's... It's gonna. I, de I think it's gonna very, very much frame to frame, like whether you can fit it or not, and build to build. Um, it's gonna be a lot harder, I think, than other things to like decide where it's gonna fit and stuff ahead of time. Some but. some frames will have thirty millimeter mounting in the rear, like the AOS RC five inch will will would be a great choice for this one, I think. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so just to point out, he's standing on the back porch here, so he is by the, um, you know, by the, uh, like right by where he's at when he's taken off. Mm -hmm. and he's going to go fly around the house and trees and stuff. So, mm -hmm. Obviously, Wesley Vardy, who is the premier source, I would say, for range testing in FPV these days, he did a range test with it uh, in a more sort of controlled environment where he just basically flew straight out and back way high up in the air. This is more of a real-world test with penetration, and, and uh, uh, but, but at the same time, it's a little less controlled. Nevertheless, he's going. He's, does it, do his neighbors know he's like flying through their yard? <laughs> yeah, he even talks about it. He has a little text chain and he tells them uh, all when he's flying and he gets approval yeah. and stuff. So. Nice. Um, I was he's going, going, he's going really, he's still going. Yeah, at about eight minutes, he does. He combines them side by side. But yeah, it looks, looks really good, man. Uh, Where's his house? I can think, we see, can we see his house from here? Like yeah, he turned around. around the back. He turned around. It felt like he went a really long way. Hang on. I went back too far. Hang on. Here he comes through here. He comes out to the street. Yep. So like as he turns to the left here, it feels like he's facing back towards his house. Can we see his house? Do you know? Or would you know which one it was, Blunty, as he turns around uh, here? Not like, okay. is, I think he flies back around to it, though. Is this it? Is he back down here, roughly, it feels like? I think he's on the right there, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, let's try to pay attention, because that's, that's, like, that's actually not that far. Um, not as far as it felt, I, but it's I way further he, than the 200 millimeter would go. 200 millimeter well, would go. He is behind the house, too. Yeah. Correct. So he's got basically two houses of penetration. And he's going through here. Yeah, this is beautiful this neighborhood. Oh, this is his yard here. Yeah. I like, see. Yeah. So the point where he was furthest away, I see. Interesting. He, was, he wasn't as far away as I thought. He basically did, kind of basically did a big, big circle. circle. And at yep. any given time, he is two houses between him and the quad, which is, yeah, yep. interesting. If you go, if you flip to eight minutes, we can see okay. that side by side. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, let me get that up. Now, what is he comparing side by side here? The analog to the, uh, to the, so. anybody who says, ah, shark bite doesn't look any better than analog. I just, 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 what are you talking about? What are now you talking have, about? Now that we have the one watt, especially and on these side by sides, it becomes very apparent. So something yeah. you remember something like, 
I, I don't know. Like, I don't fly analog that much. I just got Skyzone 04 x so I will start flying analog more so I can be more mm-hmm. uh, authoritative on it. But something that I started to forget was all the sync loss and all the flashing that you get, mm-hmm. right? Yep. And something you forget about HD zero is regardless of the breakup, even if the breakup is bad for like a frame or two, like the whole screen is obscured. Mm-hmm. Uh, in a lot of cases, you're not getting this flashing and sync loss and you can actually still fly. Like that yeah. HD zero picture right there is so clear, even through the breakup, whereas the, the analog is yeah. flicking around and up and yeah. down and losing color. It's always a stable picture like analog. Yes. It's just, it, it'll just kind of go crazy. Um, Whereas, you know, you'll get breakup, but it's, it's, you still have a good image underneath the breakup is what yeah, you're saying. It's always holding that sink. Yeah. It's always yeah. maintaining that sink until I guess when it totally drops it out. But, um, like, yeah, compared to analog where it's constantly trying to r- figure out where that, you know, that sink is, uh, it's just night and day, you know, especially yeah. in these, it, the thing is, yeah, previously I would have considered that, oh, multipathing is going to be really hard for the digital because it can't do um, the the resending of packets, but obviously neither can analog. So then we have Correct. to look at like what the results of that are, and the results of analog multipathing are this, you know, the just garbage, and the, yeah, and the scrolling and stuff, and the combination of the two. It's impressive. It's and impressive. All the and this is how all the videos are. I mean, there's videos from multiple creators. Um, we've got them linked in the chat. Um, and yeah. There's more coming out. I know Ryan's been releasing more. Um, and all these are like this. I mean, there there's not doesn't seem to be there doesn't seem to be any like bias of the of the video or the testing like uh i want to see a lot more i want to see freestyle pilots flipping all over the place and like obviously there's a bunch more room for testing um Mm -hmm. but all the results seem to be very similar um yeah and it's yeah it's super encouraging it looks like analog plus which we called it for a long time i mean it's digital minus i don't know what you want to call it (laughs) it's like it's starter digital right like yeah it's like it looks like the new cameras look really good. Um, and people talked about a lot too. Like as long as you maintain that signal, they look better or as good as like DJI 25, like the new V2 four by three. We'll look at in the next story here. Um, Mm -hmm. like looks almost as good as DJI 25. Um, but you know, it kind of ends up being a point where like that's as long as you can maintain the picture and then you go back to analog breakup. Whereas DJI has a better picture on 50 or the same picture on 25, but it's going to blur. You kind of like you're you're you have these trade offs, right? And then DJ is going to hold around the, the corners better. And the, yeah, it's a uh, I don't know, it's interesting. I think it's, it's a super good po- interesting to see these testing. Yeah. That's a good point, I think, is often overlooked. And even by myself, is that you know, like I, I recently recorded a video comparing the Foxier Digisite with the Foxier Apollo, which are the same camera essentially, but one is for DJI and one is for HD Zero. And I compared them on the bench, and I was like, you see. The, 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 the HD zero has f- way less resolution and it does, it's way less resolution. But as soon as you start flying DJI further away, it's going to get worse and HD zero will stay that level. I mean, it'll get breakup, I suppose, but the resolution is going to stay the same. That's interesting. Um, yeah. well, I'll uh, say these, uh, all this yeah. early testing is super promising. I that's, agree. that's like what, what my big takeaway from this is. It's like, I'm super excited to see the penetration is as good as it is. It seems to be on par or better than analog in a lot of cases. Um, yeah, I just want to see it get into more hands. People will start flying it and actually see see the like real world results and see the hardware looks solid. So hopefully the hardware is as solid as it looks. Yeah, um, it's disappointing yeah. the form factor won't fit. I mean, it, the reason is that the chips are enormous. The, the actual yeah. ICs are enormous. So there's just no way they're going to fit that on a 20 millimeter board. Uh, with the amplifiers and stuff that they need. And I mean, they, they, I'm sure they struggled. I know they worked on it for a long time. It is disappointing that it's so big and will not fit in some frames. It just won't. Yeah. Um, um, also, uh, as far as I know, it is $99 for the VTX or $100 mm-hmm. for the VTX, $99.99. And then $149 uh, for the, uh, I'm not sure which cam that is, but basically cam, MIPI cable, VTX antenna. Like the okay. combo is like one one forty nine. So uh, I'm sure All Ryan right. can tell us what, what that camera is. Yeah. Okay. Well, very very exciting news for HD Zero, and uh, yeah. w- of course I think and, we wish them the, all the best. I think they're doing well, great. Same, 